OK, now let's talk about an example because I think that it makes things a little bit easier. And here we are talking about those W's, OK, those weights. I didn't tell you yet how a computer is going to, to, to compute them, to calculate them. So let's imagine that we have a system like that with nine pixels, OK, and each of those pixels has a level of gray. And for the example, I'm going to ask you to, to, to accept that uh, a white pixel is represented by a zero and a black pixel is represented by 255. And I know that in, in graphics, computers, uh, it's the contrary, 255 is white and zero is black, but it's easier to do it like that. It makes my life easier and uh, it's easy to convert zero into 55 and 255 in zero. So let's imagine that black is 255, zero is white, okay? And now I want to find out which row is the darkest row? Is it the top row or is it the bottom row? And I don't care about the, media, the middle row at all at this point. So let's put some numbers in this square. We have here 182, it's like a medium gray. We have something a little bit darker, 199, something lighter at 90. Uh, we have here 100, okay? We have something almost black at 247. We have something down there almost white at four. And here in this system, my human eye can tell me very fast, okay, the top row is darker. I don't even need to calculate. But of course, for a computer, they cannot do that. And especially if you have a lot of those systems to calculate, that can be very complicated for a human, take a long time. So let's automate that with uh, a machine here. And uh, hopefully that will help. So what we will do is take here a system with nine inputs because we have nine squares and we know that we should multiply those by a W, okay? So this is a weight, so we will have also nine weights, W1 to W9, cool. And then after that, we will do the sum of products and we will normalize the output because ideally, I would like to have an output which tells me if I have plus one, the top row is darker. If I have minus one, then the bottom row is darker. Okay, so this normalizing function is going to turn whatever result I have between plus one and minus one. Okay, good. So now we are going to try that with a system. So let's take here an example. I have this uh, square here and here again, immediately my eye can say that the top row is darker, but for the computer it's going to be quite a lot more difficult to calculate. So let's try to find out how we calculate those Ws, okay? So the first thing that I told you is that the, uh, the middle row, we don't care about the middle row. So I can just say the middle row, I'm just going to add zeros everywhere because I don't care about those values at all. So I multiply the middle row by zero. And then after that, to find out what we can do is say, all right, we are going to do the average of the top row and the average of the bottom row and compare both. But be because I have three uh, pixels, three cells on the top row and three cells on the bottom row, I don't even need to average it. I can just add those and compare the two values. And, and the value which is the largest is going to be the darkest. OK, that's the idea. So what it means is that I can multiply here the top row by one and I can multiply the bottom row by minus one. And when I add those, like for example, here in the example, we have 495 for the top row. We have 259 for the bottom row. If I add those values, the bottom row multiplied by minus one, I'm going to get 236. And basically, if I get a positive number, it means that the top row is positive, is, uh, is larger. If I get a negative number, it means that the bottom row is larger. So this is what we have. Here we see that it works. I have plus one. Plus one means the uh, top row is uh, darker because it has a larger value. So now here in this example, we use our brain to think about how can we find those Ws. And of course, a computer cannot do that. A computer cannot reason. But what a computer can do and what a computer is good at doing is trying things many, many times and very, very fast. OK, and this is exactly what a computer is going to do. So let's go into those Ws and those Bs. How do we find them?